guys, um, it's me, um, yes, I am back, and I am posting again, it is a very rare thing for me to do, the last time I posted on this channel was about maybe a year ago, I'm not, I don't really remember, but today, we're gonna be drawing a Kansas City Southern ES44AH, we're gonna do it from the left side, so... This is a draw along if you want to, you know, draw along with me. You can always pause the video if you need time to copy everything down. So yeah, um, we should probably get started, you think? So what we're going to do is we're going to draw out the front portion, like the shovel and the, or the cow catcher, as most people call it, and most likely the steps and stairs and the fence posts. We're just gonna do the bottom section for today, and tomorrow I will probably post the cab, and then part three will just be the rest of the train. Uh, this one's probably gonna be the longest of the three parts, but you'll get started. So what we're first gonna do here is we're going to draw a line, just going up and down like this, a smooth up and down line. Don't mind me, I'm going to sharpen my pencil real quick. Um, it's going to be loud, so just headphone users beware. Alright, now that i got a sharper pencil, I can continue. And yeah, and so you're going to want to do the same thing, just a little bit over from it. Maybe about an inch over from the other one. I don't know, I don't know my lengths. And yes, I did pass fourth, fourth grade. And... This is what you should have so far. Like I said, if you need time, you can pause the video, even though I don't really think you need to pause the video for this one. What I do a lot is I rotate the paper around just to give, like, it's just something I do when drawing. Most people probably do this too. I rotate the paper to draw and get the lines smoother and better. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the top and do a little overhang right here to about probably this length. And we're gonna add a little sliver up here. And just connect it like this. And we add a line here. This is the overhang part for the fence, this part right here. Um, we're gonna add support beams like this. So it holds the front part up. And now we're gonna add the shovel or the cow catcher on the front. So. You're just gonna do a curved line, essentially, like a crescent moon, but you're gonna do a little part off the end like this. So like this so far, is this is what you should have. And we're going to do, let me fix this line a little bit. We're gonna do this, and this is just gonna finish the shovel. And it should look like this in the front right now. Add a little box here for the air hoses. It's a smaller box. This is going to be a lot of detail, warned you. So if you do, like I said, for like for the third time, if you do need to pause, you can pause. So I'm going to do a little, little box for the coupler. And I'm going to make uh, two lines out like this for the little coupler, like right there. The two lines sticking out. And then we're going to do, just do kind of dangle off of those two lines don't extend it too far just kind of do it like this and and just kind of do it like that and now we're gonna add the little coupler spots this is what you should have so far for the coupler then i draw my coupler is weird but you guys can draw them differently this is how i draw my couplers so, and now we're going to do off of this, like this. It's going to be a direct. Okay, so this is the, the front portion. And this is what you should have so far. Now we're going to add the, the actual steps here for to get on top. So we're going to do this. Like I said, you probably will need more time. 
because if you do if you do mess up like I just did right now, you can always erase and retry. So like this and boom, this is the shovel portion of the drawing. This is the shovel portion and this is the step portion. So we got the front going here. Next, we're gonna add the fence going up like this. So curve it a little bit. Like that, this is what you should have so far. And now we're going to add the ditch light. It's just simple. It's essentially the box with the tiniest overhang in the world, like that. And then a little circle for the ditch light. I may need to break this up in some more parts because, you know, this video is already reaching the six minute mark and we've barely gotten anywhere. Okay, so. So we're just gonna add the little fences here and we're gonna do the same thing with this one and just kind of do them like that. And you can always add the fence in the back. All right, so next we are going to do this part. We're gonna keep extending the, the like, I would say the walkway. That's what I would call it. We're gonna skip the, the actual trucks, or like the wheels this time, because, you know, the video length. We're gonna do the fuel tank though, so. We, yes, we will do the fuel tank today, and yep, and there you go. This is should be you probably draw it nicer than I did, but this should this should be the basic on what you have right now. You can always extend it out more if you're not confident with the length, which is not what I'm going for right now. So, all right. So, next, this is going to be the end of our cab. So, I got to make a little marking here. Okay, and a little marking here for the front next time. So, right now, we're probably going to do the fuel tank right about here. This is going to be our fuel tank. And... You can straighten this out if you don't want it to be super 3D. And just draw a little line. Well, preferably a skinny line, but a long line. And, and then just draw a little. The fuel tank is has a space between. And we're gonna draw the little fuel monitor right here so it's little part little oval and next we're gonna keep extending that uh the the bedding or like the walkway for the locomotive we keep extending that until we have an acceptable length this is going to be the length of my fuel tank is going to be this. So this is going to be my fuel tank. You can make yours longer. And we just got to leave enough space for the axles and the wheels next time. So make sure you have a decent sized amount of space between the back end and the fuel tank. So this would be about the appropriate space. And we're gonna do that little inch in between thing again. Just like this. Sorry if I get really loud from time to time. I tend to lean over my camera just to see what I'm doing better. So I get my, 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 my mouth gets close to the speaker. And I, yes, I'm using my phone to record this. So if the audio isn't the best audio you've ever heard, that's probably why. And then we're gonna add that little overhang again on the end. Uh, ditch lights are not 
put on the end of AHs, I believe. But if you want to do it, it's fine. You don't specifically have to do an AH, but I'm doing an AH. There's no shovel on the back, so you just do the coupler box and then just do the coupler again like this. And then just add that little overhang. Kind of looks... I kind of want it to look like a train car, the coupler, essentially. But try your best not to make it look like a train car and make it look like an actual coupler. So this is going to be our coupler, our back coupler. And I believe there is a pressure hose or an air hose here. There's also air hoses on the back. So just add a couple little lines there. This is what the back end should look like. And this is what the front end should look like. And then the fuel tank should be appropriately spaced in the middle. If you want to add the detail to the fuel tank, you can do it like this. Just add some depth into that depth, into that fuel tank, or like a perspective. So add some shading. And this is what you should have so far. And... This is pretty much it, except there's still a part right here that you would want to add. It's just a couple of this. They have most of this on AHs. And you just end it here. So yeah, this is what you should have so far. And we're gonna finish the back end here. So we're gonna add the same steps. Yeah, I just do a little scribble, cause I'm lazy. And this is, this is it. This is what you should have. We are pretty much done with the first part. This video is running 12 minutes, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching, and just comment down below if you do want a part two, which I will post regardless. But I just like, I just like reading comments. It's, it's fun. And yeah, if you, if you enjoy it, make sure to drop us, drop a sub and like. Or if you don't want to, that's okay. Just have a great day. Bye, guys.